All right, we just have one more problem to do. And this one says, find the shortest distance between these two lines. And they've been defined as skew. So we can pull out their direction vectors. This one's going to be 1, negative 1, 1. And this one is negative 1, 2, negative 1. And we're going to find the cross product of the two direction vectors. You can do this using either method, whichever one you prefer. doing this, we're going to go this direction minus this direction. So we multiply, multiply. So I guess it's negative 1 minus negative 1. And this one's going to give us 2 minus This is our i, this is our j, this is our k. So overall that's negative 1 i. This becomes a plus sign, so that just goes to 0. And then 2 minus 1 is 1, so we just get k. So we just have negative i plus k. So now um, we're going to let A and B be points on the skew lines such that the magnitude of AB is the shortest distance between them. Okay. And so if that happens, then A is going to be, let's put this over here. Maybe I'll bring it up here. So A is going to be, uh, we'll just get the points from here. So T, 1 minus T, 2 plus T. And then B is going to be the other one. 3 minus S, comma, negative 1 plus 2S, 4 minus S. Okay. And then if we... find a b we take the coordinates from b minus 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 t 1 minus t 2 plus t okay and Let's just simplify that real quick. 3 minus s minus t. And distribute the 1, so that's negative 1, positive. So we get negative 2 plus 2s two plus t. And then we get um, distribute. We get 
2 minus s minus t. OK. Um, now, since this is going to be, since AB is going to be parallel to our cross product, which here's our cross product, um, we know that this thing that's written in pink is going to be equal to some constant times by negative 1, 0, 1. Okay. And from there, we can set up different equations. So we can do 3 minus s minus t equals negative k. We can do negative 2 plus 2s plus t equals 0. We can do 2 minus s minus t is equal to k. Okay. Now, um, if we, we can approach this in a number of different ways. We can, uh, I think, if we, let's add the top two, or the, sorry, the top and the bottom. So it's going to be 3 and 2 is 5, negative 2s, negative 2t equals 0. Okay. And then um, we can subtract 5, negative 2s minus 2t equals negative 5. Divide everything by negative 1. We'll get 2s plus 2t is equal to 5. OK. And then if we take the second equation, let's just add 2 to the other side. We get 2s plus t equals 3. Now we can um, use substitution or, or elimination. And so I'm just going to change the signs here and then add. And so that's going to go, those cancel. This just becomes t is equal to 2. Oh, whoops. This was supposed to be a 2. Uh, so I added 2, added 2 right here. So that was 2, change the signs, negative 2, add those, so t equals 3. Sorry about that. Now if we take 3, plug it in here, we have 2s plus t equals 2. Plug in a 3 there. Subtract 3, 2s equals negative 1. Divide by 2, s is equal to negative 1 half. And if we do that, then we can figure out what k is. So if we go back up to this, and we plug in, what was our s? s was negative 1 half. So if we plug that in right there, we can get 3 minus negative 1 half minus 3, negative 2 plus 2 times negative 1 half plus 3, and then 2 minus negative 1 half minus 3. All right, we have a 3 and a negative 3. So this is just positive 1 half right there. Right here, we have the 3 and the negative 2. So that's going to leave us with 1. 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1. And so if we combine those, we end up getting 0. <coughs> Negatives here are going to cancel. 
and then negative 3 and 2 are going to leave a negative 1, and then negative 1 plus 1 half is going to be negative 1 half. All right, so we end up with, once again, this is our AB, and so if we take the magnitude of AB, it's going to be 1 half squared plus 0 squared plus negative 1 half squared. So that's 1 fourth plus 0 plus 1 fourth. Add those together, we get 2 fourths um, or 1 half under a square root. And so the, that is the shortest distance between the two points. If you need additional help, please come to Math Lab. Until then, calculate.